Now we're going to look at adding an image to the animation, or animating an image. And I already have a box set up here. It's going to be box 4 uh, in CSS. I have already have a background color for it. Um, position is going to be relative. Um, that way I can kind of set it up and place it on the page where I wanted it. And I'm going to have it set up for width and height of 160 pixels square. So now in my HTML, I'm going to add my image, and that's going to be so IMG SRC, the image source, and in quotations, designate it where it's going to be. So the folder, and then the name of the image, which is ball.png, and I'm going to give it the class soccer. That way, when I go into my HTML, I mean, it's my CSS, sorry. So that was the HTML where we added the image. And we're going to come over to our CSS page. And since that was a class, it was, it's going to be with a period, OCCR soccer. And we can add our brackets. Okay, now we'll save that. We should see our image. So here it is. And the reason why I had the box in here is because sometimes if you add, uh, animate the images, they'll kind of do strange things if it's not positioned within the uh, this area, right? So in order to kind of get this to animate in the middle, I'm going to try to get that within that that square. Maybe I'll maybe I'll show you how that looks without it. Uh, we'll just maybe go in here and start animating. So this purple box is what I'm going to actually animate. So, so box four, we're going to add our animation name. And we're going to call it, call it ball four, since I'm, that's my box four, we'll call it ball four. Um, animation duration and we'll do this at we'll say I guess four seconds so 4s for seconds and I don't want that um, let's see then we'll do well, maybe we'll start there now I want to add my keyframes, so we'll do at keyframes. And we'll give it my name, which I named it up here, ball four. So we're gonna call that ball four. And we'll do the curly brackets. And so let's see, we'll go ahead and We'll start with the 0% and add McCurley brackets for our declaration. And within the declaration, let's go ahead and let's go ahead and place it, which is kind of what it is up here also. So kind of the same thing. We'll go, we'll do top. And what do we have that for? Whoops. Top for 50 pixels. And we'll do left. That'll be 80 pixels. And Let's go ahead and I'll just copy that. We'll go 100%. So let's change this to 100%. And we'll change our top and bottom. Well, actually, we'll keep that the same. Let's just add. Let's just add a middle frame. So this will like start it on the left, and then we're gonna have it have it go to the right, 
and we're gonna have it come back to that same starting position. So this will be our first keyframe, this will be our last keyframe. Let's call this one 50%, so this will be the middle. And let's do this, um, let's go for 50. We'll give it, about, sorry, about 500 pixels. So we'll just add 500 pixels to it. And let's, oops, let's save it. Yep, and there you go. Let's move this over so you can see it. And right now it just does it once. I'll have to refresh it each time. So let's go and add to our iteration up into our box four where we have a lot of our animation set up. And we're going to add our animation iteration count. And we could say, you know, four times five, five four, five, but I just kind of like the infinite. It just kind of gives it a loop, which makes it nice to, to view. Okay, so now let's add our rotation. So in my, my, my zero, my first keyframe, We'll add a transform rotate transform and rotate. And we'll give that, we'll start out with zero degrees, so DEG for degrees. And let's give it a semicolon to end it. And I'm going to go ahead and copy and paste this so I can just add the degrees to each one. So I'm going to go ahead and maybe have it circle once. So we'll go ahead and make that um, 360, 360 degrees. So a full turn. And then when we bring it back to the end, we'll just do a minus 360. So we'll just have it roll back in the, in the opposite direction. Okay, so let's copy and paste the transform rotate. And I'm going to change, so I'm going to go from zero degrees starting and then I'm going to change it to on the, the second, the middle one, I'm going to change that to 360. So do a full turn and then on the way back, I'll do a negative 360. So turn it back the opposite direction. So. Let's try that. Okay, so now let me show you just, I'll take that background color out. So as you see, it does a straight, it, it looks strange if this is what you were trying to get a, a ball that was looking straight. So that's why I have that purple background as you can see that. Let's put my background color back in there. And so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to try to change that position. All right, so let me blank out my animation for a minute. Okay, so now, all right, let me save that. All right, so now what I want to do is I, want to, I kind of want my ball to fit in there so it kind of rotates from the center instead of out here at the edge. So I am going to, first let's go ahead and add our, um, add to our image. So this is our soccer image that we had set up already. And we'll, we'll Let's add our positioning. So let's add our position. And we want it to be absolute. That way it'll be, that way we can position it within our relative box for that we're animating. So this is the box we're animating. And this, this image is going to be positioned with inside this box. If you guys remember the positioning. And let's go ahead and give it a width. Let's 
let's say uh, maybe 50 pixels and then we'll give it a height of 80 pixels okay and then it's still really not where we want it so let's look at our width and height of our box. I kind of want it to be that size, so I may make it just a little bit smaller. So let's make it 150. And let's make it a square, so 150 by 150. Oops, that's not right. Okay, and let's try positioning. So let's add a top. Do zero pixels and a bottom zero pixels. And there we have it. It's pretty close, but it's still not really quite centered. Um, I could since I gave it um the width and height are 160 and this is 150 so I can add about five on the top and the bottom and that should put it pretty close to the center for me. There's probably different ways you can do this but this is just one way to do it. Okay so there you see now it's a little more even maybe a little, a little lopsided. Okay so let's add our animation get our animation back and we'll save that and then we have a nice smooth roll now we can take out our background color if we want and it'll look a little more like a ball rolling So it's looking pretty good. Um, one last thing I might add is um, an ease out. That way, it kind of it starts fast. You know, maybe like it, maybe like somebody kicked it, and then maybe slow, have it a little bit slower as it reaches the end. So we'll do that here. We'll do animation timing function, and then ease out. You see it, it starts out quick and then it ends up being slow at the end.